Item number SCP-7505 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-7505 is to be contained within a standard large containment unit located within Subterranean Area 49 along with the 25 existing SCP-7505-A instances. SCP-7505 must remain physically shut at all times. Any individual suffering negative mental health effects due to exposure to SCP-7505 or SCP-7505-A must be assigned a Foundation-affiliated psychiatrist upon request. Should SCP-7505 be found open or a new SCP-7505-A instance manifest, the door to SCP-7505 must be closed at the nearest possible opportunity and the head researcher of SCP-7505 must be contacted immediately. Any individuals who have entered SCP-7505 are to be considered lost. Research into the missing cast of And Then the Stars Went Out, focused on the anachronistic nature of the director's disappearance, is ongoing. The description SCP-7505 refers to a maroon truck-sized intermodal shipping container, which was utilized in the production of an unreleased independent horror film titled And Then the Stars Went Out. Externally, SCP-7505 is identical to non-anomalous shipping containers of the same make. However, the inside of the object appears to be a limitless space, devoid of any light or matter. Individuals witnessing the internal dimensions of SCP-7505 report sensations of fearlessness and wonderlust as well as a faint compulsion to enter SCP-7505, which has been resisted by all individuals affected since SCP-7505's initial containment. Affected individuals will later develop acute claustrophobia and scopophobia, although these ailments can be treated through non-anomalous means. SCP-7505's anomalous properties were initially discovered on July 28, 1995 by dock workers employed near the filming location of And Then the Stars Went Out in Newark, New Jersey. All individuals associated with the production of And Then the Stars Went Out were last seen on July 27, 1995 with the exception of Asme Quentin credited as the director and producer of the project on official documentation, who was reported missing on May 5th, 1955. On the 5th of June, from 1996 to 2021, SCP-7505's doors would anonymously open, and an instance of SCP-7505-A was ejected from its internal space. SCP-7505-A resemble human corpses, which show disfiguration consistent with exposure to a true vacuum, as well as fifth-degree burns, although the subject's eyes appear undamaged. Efforts to move SCP-7505-A into a position in which the instance is not facing upwards have universally failed.